it's uh, Thursday. We're almost at the weekend, which is always a really nice, good feeling, right? But we do want to talk about some more critical fire danger. That's what we are going to see today. Our strong wind gusts primarily hitting us east of I-25. Now, we will get some 70s and 80s going into Saturday. So through the weekend, we know we're going to have some of that really warm air, but today is about the fire danger and the wind and the next week. So we're watching a chance of some mountain snow. At least I was really hopeful here locally. We could get some rain and snow and I haven't completely dropped them out of the forecast, but chances don't look as good south of Denver. It's a situation that's happened a lot to us this year in particular. We've missed locally Denver and the mountains have gotten all our snow. Temperatures are a little calm this morning morning and easy going and the winds aren't very strong. We've got not much for wind on the interstate, a little windy for those of you off to some of the mountains, but out east Lamar up through Kit Carson and into northeast Colorado. It's a little windier out there, so like Burlington North. This is where a high wind warning exists. I-25, no, not really. It'll be windy at times, but not as windy as the plains, especially along that Colorado-Kansas border. As we continue to look at what the winds will do, we are plotting some of the estimated wind gusts from Colorado Springs to Pueblo. The gusts really aren't that bad, but along that Colorado-Kansas border, the gusts are in the 50 mile per hour range, and they may hit 60 out near some of Kiowa County through the afternoon. Now, the red flag warnings are much more widespread. It's the same deal that was yesterday. The winds were stronger east, but the red flag fire weather danger is much more broad, and it does extend to the San Luis Valley. Let's go ahead and talk about temperatures today. We'll be in the 50s along I-25, but then also towards Pueblo. We're going to carry those 50s into the plains, and Denver's about 57. Now, with the wind, it'll feel chilly, but sunshine will help make this be a nice day. Tomorrow, it just looks kind of breezy out there, like sustained speeds around 10 to 15 miles miles per hour, so that's really nothing. Kind of a similar forecast Saturday afternoon, but then Saturday night through Sunday, a cold front comes in. It'll get windy again. And next week, Monday through Wednesday, we are watching a system that should bring snow to the mountains. But here's a bit of a question. Smaller chances of rain and snow south of Denver. So in the Pikes Peak region through Pueblo, we could get some moisture. It just doesn't look overly promising. As we continue to watch the forecast, it does look like Wednesday there might be some sh snow showers that kick out. But again, most models have really said no. This rain and snow is going to be more of a more of a mountain and maybe Denver situation. So in Pueblo, we're going to be in the 80s on Saturday, 70s going into Sunday, and then as we get over towards next week, we'll see some 70s Monday, Tuesday, kick back to the 50s on Wednesday. Canyon City, we are going to be in the 70s on Saturday, and then we are going to see some rain and snow kicking back in Tuesday, Wednesday. Finally, Woodland Park, more 50s on Sunday, and then next week, Monday through Tuesday and Wednesday, we do have a little better snow chances, but the snow is just much more likely along the Continental Divide.